So when it comes to love, whether it's platonic love, romantic love, love for yourself, love of life, we have to invite in freedom. We have to be free ourselves and we have to allow freedom to other people. If someone doesn't rock with you the way you think they should, um, that makes our love conditional. And when we're functioning from a space of conditional love, we no longer have the opportunity to make happiness a choice. We can choose happiness, but if we are stuck on the conditions of the way the love that we receive needs to be and look like, now we put it in a box and that box is resistance to change and change is the only thing that's inevitable. So things are gonna change. So everything, th every time things change, are you going to allow that to, uh, make you lead with a rigid rigidity that does not give someone else or yourself the opportunity to create, to grow, to flow, to move in their truth, to maybe even expand in love. And so, you know, when we move like that, we restrict ourselves and we restrict other people to the possibility of giving and receiving the highest love possible. So one of the ways I'm eradicating that energy within myself, because I do that, I do that sometimes. And this is why I can spit this out to you because you know, I'm not perfect not to be like, I'm not perfect. We're all human, I get it. But I every day strive to be the best version of myself. And I do the work to do that. So some of the work I'm doing to eliminate this negative perpetual injustice that I feel I'm suffering from because I was wronged. <laughs> I am going over those things that I did not like and did not love. And the thing that's perpetual, well, you know, he did this. Well, she said that. Well, when this happened, I tried to give this and I didn't get this. And blah, 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 blah. That's negative. So now I'm like, how can I go over and visualize every one of those instances and replay them in my mind from a place of freedom and unconditional love. Because what I'm finding is in me allowing other people to be free like they should, just like I am, they can do what they want. They can move how they want and I can love them for that. I love me for it. So when I look at it from a perspective of freedom and unconditionalness, if there's no conditions, there's no box. If there's no box, there's no harm, no foul. So it allows me to flow. So if I go back over those things and infuse it with love, maybe the argument happened a certain way. So now you visualize that conversation happening with you in a space of freedom and love and unconditionalness for the other person replay that happening in your mind from that mindset. So that way, when the thing comes up, now you're starting to program yourself to have the memory of, but they can do what they want, but they're free. I have the ability to love. They're allowed. They're a give, give. 